hello friends welcome to cortex youtube channel today in this video i am going to discuss about approach to ascites so whenever you get ascites patients and you do diagnostic tapping you have to send for you have to calculate what is known as sag yes a a g what does sag means sag means serum ascitic albumin gradient so how to calculate this it is simple serum albumin minus ascitic albumin so if it is more than 1.1 it is high sag if it is less than 1.1 it is low sag so sag calculating sag is very very important in management or diagnosis of ascitic patients so let's look at the causes of based on this sag value so you calculated sag value it came more than 1.1 it is called a high sag that is 1.1 gram per deciliter so it is high sag now we have to look at the ascitic protein level if it is ascitic protein less than 2.5 it is called as low protein high sag low protein okay high sag low protein high sag low protein is seen in high sag low protein means high sag low protein means portal hypertension so it is seen in cirrhosis late bud cherry syndrome bud cherry syndrome and massive liver mats massive liver mats so these are the causes of high sag low protein so if protein is more than 2.5 it is called a high sag high protein it is seen in so many conditions like heart failure congestive heart failure or constrictive pericarditis or early bud cherry syndrome or ivc obstruction or sinusoidal obstruction syndrome sinusoidal obstruction syndrome so these are the causes for high sag high protein now what are the causes for low sag low protein low sag protein that is low sag means less than 1.1 is low sag so what are the causes let's look at the causes now if there is low sag you have to see the ascitic protein whether it is whether it is low protein that is 2.5 or it is high protein that is more than 2.5 2.5 is the cutoff if it is low sag and low protein the condition is nephrotic syndrome nephrotic syndrome if it is low sag but high protein it could be because of peritoneal peritoneal pathologies like malignancy malignancy tuberculosis biliary ascites or pancreatic ascites in pancreatic ascites amylase lipase will be elevated so these are the causes for low sag low protein and high protein so this is your approach whenever you get ascitic patient so let's uh, calculate with uh, let's discuss with uh, real life cases here so this is a patient presented to us and we did the uh, diagnostic ascitic tapping and we found this ascitic fluid analysis report let's look at this uh, report now amylase lipase are okay ascitic fluid sugar okay ascitic fluid protein was 0.4 here and ascetic fluid albumin was 0.3 here this patient is having serum albumin of 2 2 minus 0.3 means it comes around 1.7 which is more than 1.1 so it is high sag so let's calculate sag here sag is equal to serum albumin is 2 minus ascetic albumin is 3.3 .3. so it comes around 1.7 which is more than 1.1 so it is high sag and his protein is 0 0.4 only 0 0.4 0 0.4 means less than 2.5 so it is low protein so this is a case of high sag with 
low protein whenever i say high sac low protein it means it is portal hypertension this high sac low protein means this component so portal hypertension so it could be because of cirrhosis late bud cherry or massive liver mets so if you look at his uh, um, platelet count platelet count are reduced so thrombocyte pain is seen in cirrhosis patients and if you calculate apri let's calculate apri for this patient apri means uh, ast to platelet ratio okay so let's calculate apri for this patient is so for that you have to know ast so look at this yes bilirubin parameters are taste ast is 49 ALT is 27 and alkaline phosphatase and ggt uh, albumin is 2 so alkaline phosphatase is also no enzymes are normal in cirrhosis patients you may get a uh, normal enzymes so ast here is 49 platelet count is uh, only 70000 70060 so it comes 1.1 apri is 1.1 So APRI is 1 point, sorry 1.8, 1 1.8, how to calculate this APRI, you have to uh, take the values of EST and platelet ratios. So here EST is 49, 49 normal limit is 40 divided by platelet, in platelet 70 into 100. If you do this it will come around 1.8, 1.8 is more than 1.5. So this will also tell cirrhosis. So there are three findings which are telling us there is there is a cirrhosis one is high sac low protein that is protal hypertension and there is thrombocytopenia cirrhosis and there is apri which is more than 1.5 is again cirrhosis and the enzymes are also not that much elevated and there is hypoalbuminemia and bilirubin component is elevated especially direct bilirubin is more so it is a case of cirrhosis so this he should be our approach to uh, ascites patients let me give an a uh, homework for you you have to comment the answer in your comment section comment section of this video so let me give an give an example so what about this patient so uh, you have to comment below the answer for this ascites fluid analysis thank you